Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. Uh, I want to take another quick look at the Droid 3 here, specifically at the software, because the more I've used this thing over the past couple weeks, uh, just the more little tweaks that Motorola and, and or Verizon, I guess, have done, and just, it's really, really nice, and it's deserving of a second look. So, there's your lock screen, simple stuff, right? Uh, before we even dive into this, I want to show you something. Now, the, here's a little feature we haven't seen, really, on anything since uh, Gingerbread on the Nexus S and the Nexus 1. Now watch when you turn it off. You have the CRT effect, the old TV effect, right? Haven't seen that since the Nexus devices, at least officially. So cool that uh, they added that in there, because that's really nice, and I never did really understand why nobody else did that. So you've got that. Uh, we've seen our home screens. Now, when I was first using these, things seemed to lag just a little bit. Not so much in the scrolling, but when I'd open the app drawer, it would just be a little slow. See, it's going to freak out a little bit there because it's lying flat on its back. Um, something else we mentioned in the review is this little favorite contacts widget that's on the home screen. It's really kind of neat. So you've got your four uh, top contacts up there. Mom, Dad, Jerry, Dieter. <laughs> and uh, if you want to get to more, you drag it down, you see how they bend like that? That's a really nice little uh, design feature. Drag them all the way and then you get your top 20 contacts. Uh, you know, favorited contacts. I haven't favorited that many. Um, let's see what else is really cool in here. So you've got a uh, scrollable calendar widget. This is also resizable. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. So if you let go, now see you have uh, the corners have been highlighted a little bit and then you can drag it up and changes the size. That's not new for Motorola. They started that back with the uh, Droid X last year, but nice to see they've continued it. Uh, something that's missing, and I was a little surprised, is profiles are gone. So that was one that uh, Motorola brought last year with the Droid Pro, and they brought it to a couple other uh, phones as well. But you could have different series of home screens. HTC does it, they call them scenes. Motorola had it with profiles, but now it's gone, so that was a little surprising. Uh, we do have Manage Apps, we've seen that. Something else I want to show you, if you go to Settings and Applications, double tap Home Launch. So right now, if I double tap the Home button, it'll open up Google Maps for me. But say you want to change that. So then you go to Settings, Applications, double tap Home Launch, and then you have all these other apps that you could set to that. Now something else you can do with the Home button is once you're here on the home screen, right in the middle, you press it again, and then you have your five home screens and you can jump back and forth from one to another, maybe. There it goes. And if you hold down, you get your recent apps. And it gives you a whole bunch of recently used apps. That's really nice. I hate it when you only have like four, maybe even eight. So you get a whole bunch that you can work with. Um, you have the three icons docked down here at the bottom. I've mentioned before, I'm not crazy about how they look. The camera looks like a washing machine to me. But say you don't want text messaging here, because I don't actually use the stock text messaging app, right? I use Google Voice. Oh, and by the way, the app drawer is a horizontal scroller. I prefer vertical, but you know, that's me. All right, so say you want Google Voice. Oops, come here. All right, so if you hold down, Add to home, share, add to group, or uninstall. We'll get to more on the uh, launcher in a second. So that's how you put something on the home screen. Let's say I wanted to put it down here. See, as I hold down, these change to pluses. And now, add to dock. Am I sure I want to do it? Yes. So now it's docked down there at the bottom. That's nice to see. Uh, back to the app drawer. If you push the menu button here, uh, you can sort alphabetically frequently used or recently used. Oops. Or you can go straight to the settings, which is nice. But being able to uh, sort all the apps in your app drawer is an important thing, I think. Uh, we mentioned briefly in our previous video just of all the stuff that has on here. I've got some of my apps on here now too, but a couple of the big ones. Go to meeting, uh, Cisco, or not Cisco, Citrix. It's right there's a uh, DLNA, Moto Print. Now this is kind of interesting. Uh, it's wireless printing from Motorola. So your printer has to be uh, compatible with it. If you go to manage printers, see I don't actually have any. I can search for printers and it will see my uh, printer, but unsupported, so, <laughs> which is unfortunate. But you can actually, uh, there's a, uh, desktop client basically so 
you install it on your you know your desktop your laptop whatever and then let's see if I remember how to do this because the instructions actually are a little backwards so advanced search yes so print by moto print host and if my computer's on it might not even be on back there it will actually find it but that's how you do that. So actually searching through the instructions on a Motorola's website, they were a little backwards. It's uh, motorola.com slash motoprint if you're looking for that. So it's actually easy to find, just not easy to follow. So those are some of the really cool uh, software tweaks that Motorola has done on the Droid 3. And I assume we'll see it on uh, probably the Droid Bionic if and when that ever comes out, plus other phones later this year. So there you go, guys. Quick look at some of the cool software. See you later.